All right, this is unique. Uh, the Indianapolis Colts, Colts fans, I'm just going to ask you a question off the top. Like, where are you at? Where are your emotions? Like, just how you feeling about this season? You're three and four. You just came off an emotional, ridiculous loss. Um, and, and when I say ridiculous, I don't mean bad. I just mean very unexpected. Who thinks that two teams thrown out backup quarterbacks are going to end in a game that's 39 to 38. And honestly, this game should not have been 39 to 38. It absolutely should not have been. Um, but Cleveland did some weird things and I, I don't know, but where are your emotions at as you head into this middle stretch of the season? Are you thinking playoffs? Are you thinking get me out of here. Let's start seriously losing some games. Are you thinking, um, let's just keep treading water. Like what's your thought process? Like also where are you at with Anthony Richardson? And like, is he the guy? How devastated are you? How dif disappointed are you about the shoulder injury and being out for the year and the nervousness there and watching Gardner Minshew the rest of the year. But here's what I'll say. And this is what people are saying about the Colts. Um, and I'm going to give you a little hint nothing. They're not saying anything like nobody's talking about the Colts. There's no news sources going right now about the Colts. Um, they're not in the national media. And if you don't know our channel, that's what we're about. We're about talking about the teams that are not usually talked about on the national stage. We're Lions fans. So that is what we're used to. So that's where we live. That's what we love. So we want to talk about teams like the Colts. So here's what I'm going to tell you about the Colts. I think that they put together, and I'm going to show you this box score from your last game. I think what you're seeing based on the last two games is what the blueprint is going forward for this Indianapolis Colts team. And here's what I mean by that. On the offensive side of things, they are going to be a ground and pound team. They have what is arguably the best one-two punch at running back in the NFL right now. I don't think anybody would have said that to begin the year, especially because Jonathan Taylor was hurt. In fact, you're wondering, was Zach Moss hurt? Jonathan Taylor hurt? You're just like throwing out anybody. You're like, what's going on? But this is the second game in a row where between Taylor and Moss, I believe they've had over 30 carries together combined. Um, they both are fantastic. Moss is a top five running back in rushing yards in the NFL right now. You're going to keep running him. You're going to run Taylor a little more. They continue to ramp him up. In this last game, both Taylor and Moss had 18 carries. The exact same amount. Gardner Minshew only threw the ball 23 times. And in those 23 attempts, 15 completions for three 100 yards. Gardner Minshew averaged over 20 yards per completion. That's unbelievable. But that's what you can do when you are running the ball well. When you have a playmaker like Josh Downs. When you have what is usually a possession receiver turned big play, <laughs> Michael Pittman. So at first, I think what we thought was Gardner Minshew comes in here and it's even what we saw, which is he's going to throw the ball over the field. He's going to throw the ball over the field. And, you know, he throws the ball better than Anthony Richardson at this point in his career. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rely on Gardner Minshew to throw the ball like crazy. For example, look at this box score. From the week before, part of this was just because of the score. So I was definitely wrong about over 30 carries for two games in a row because I totally forgot about this Jacksonville game. All right. But Gardner Minshew threw the ball 55 times. He had 33 completions for 329 yards. But because of the amount of times he threw the football and the fact that he is turnover prone, he had three interceptions. So he's got three interceptions, same amount of yards in double over double the throws. All right. Two and a half times more throws. So they found this new blueprint. So here's what I'm saying about the Colts. Cause what they're saying is nothing. What I'm saying is the Colts have found a blueprint that can keep them in games. 
And even if Gardner Minshew, Gardner Minshew is the quarterback, they have a good enough offensive line because they have a very good offensive line and they have a great backfield that their job is going to be, okay, I know what we're going to do. We are going to run the football and then we are going to run it some more. And after we're done running the football, we're going to run it some more. And what that allows is for our defense to get rest. It allows for our turnover prone quarterback not to be throwing the ball over the field, therefore not committing turnovers. And it allows us to stay in the game. You lost this game because Gardner Minshew had four turnovers. That's it. That's why he lost. It's just the way it goes. And you only forced one. So there were a lot of fumbles. There were a lot of fumbles by the by the by the uh, Browns, but I think there were five. If I'm looking at this right, but they recovered four of the five. You didn't recover yours. You had four fumbles. You recovered three. Um, sorry, you recovered one. So I'm all over the place in this video. So here here's what I'm saying: You've never had a defense that was going to be elite. You just didn't. But you had a defense that was good enough if you didn't put them in difficult situations. So the goal for the rest of this year has to be how can we run an offense with Gardner turnover? <laughs> and how can we do that to limit turnovers and yet still find a way to score points? And the answer to that is Zach Moss, Jonathan Taylor. So hope you can do that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Just want to keep throwing some Colts love out there, even when they're on a two game losing streak, uh, because you got fans. Let's do it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you.